everyone's having a great Monday. Um, I'm coming to you just to get your opinion on a certain topic that came to my mind. If you recently watched my last video, you would see I did the comparison between Beautiful Hair Steamer and the Salon R Us Hair Steamer. So now I'm coming back to ask you all your opinion on hair steaming. Now, in my video, like I was saying, most people that I know use the hair steamer for conditioner treatments to penetrate the conditioner down to your hair shaft. However, if you notice in my video, I use it first to clarify, second um, to, you know, use the hot oil and the deep conditioner, and then third, I put my hair butter and oil to moisturize and seal. So the question I have for you all is, do you all think it's possible to over steam your hair? That's the question I'm posing because um, I don't know the answer. I mean, in my opinion, I don't believe so because you're not using heat like you would a hair dryer or a blow dryer or a curling iron or flat iron, that, which is, you know, electric heat. You're actually just using steam molecules or water molecules. So I suppose it's safe for your hair to do that. However, I'm not sure. So that's the question that I would like for you all to give your opinion on because when I clarified, I figure, you know, you go to the sauna and you use the sauna or the, um, what do you call it, steam room at the gym to release the toxins out of your skin and out of your body. So I figure, you know, the hair steamer does the same thing for your hair, helps to get all the toxins and the buildup out of your hair in the clarifying process. And then, of course, step two, uh, conditioning helps to penetrate the conditioner down into your hair rather than just sitting with the conditioner on top of your hair. And also the hot oil treatment on your scalp. I figure when you just put the oil on your scalp, it's kind of sitting there. And some of it may absorb, but most of it just sits on your scalp. So my point and thought of doing the steam treatment is to help it actually penetrate down into your scalp and really help to um, relieve the dry scalp or itchiness or flakiness on your scalp. And then, of course, third, the moisturizing. I figure sometimes when my hair gets dry, so I put the moisturizer on and, you know, it seems like I really didn't put anything in my hair. So I thought, well, if I put the moisturizer on and steam, maybe the moisturizer will penetrate through to my hair better. So those are my thoughts and reasons for doing a three-step process with the steamer rather than just the conditioner alone. So anyhow, give me your opinion. Let me know. Do you think it's possible to over-steam your hair with the hair steamer? And if so, uh, let me know why. Like, why do you feel the way you do? Or if not, then why not? Or any information that you find or that you may have, share with me. And we'll kind of discuss it and see what we come up with. And as always, thank you for watching. Oh. And before I forget, let me show you my t-shirt here. I think it's pretty cool. Ah, my Rasta Lion, my aunt gave me. So, that's my t-shirt. And if you're wondering, this is my huge Afro puff that I created. Uh, I'll come back and show you how I did that later. And my little clip-in, red, yellow, and green with my hair feathers. See here. So. I'll come back and maybe do another video to show you how I made my little clip-in hair extension. And until next time, like I said, thanks for watching and bye.